Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be working on a jade tree. Um, I'm gonna be working on this particular tree um, alone. I'm not gonna be working on these ones. Um, this tree has been in uh, styling for the last two years. Um, two years ago, what I did was I took this small plant. It was probably only about the size of this piece here. And I put it in this pot and I lightly wired it to have abandoned it. And then last year I rewired it and because it had grown, grown a lot and I wired it down a little bit further. And then about a month ago, I took most of the leaves off of it and took the wire off it at, at that time. And it kind of has popped back up a little bit. What I want to do with it today is I want to rewire it. And what I'm actually thinking about doing is wrapping a piece of wire around the bottom of this pot. And then that will give me something to take another wire, hook onto there, and pull this branch down in a way that it sits more like that. Because what I think I'm going to do with this is have these four branches that you can see here be one pad at around this level one day and then continue growing this branch that has these three small branches on it, continue growing that down further and eventually creating a second pad down here, um, which will extend the length of this tree beyond the pot, which will make this a faux cascading bonsai in the future instead of a semi-cascade. Um, I think that will look really nice. I will probably also clip the ends of some of these branches so I will start to get some back budding here is what I'm looking for. These ones here, I will leave alone most likely so that the tree can continue to grow longer before I um, want the back budding. So I have not watered this plant in about a month. And what that does, it allows the tree to be a lot more flexible so it doesn't snap. Now with jade plants, you still have to be very careful with them because they do snap very easily but if you dehydrate them for a month, sometimes two, it makes them a lot more pliable, all right? So I'm going to start by seeing if I can get a wire around this pot. Sometimes it'd be good to have a third hand, you know what I mean?
right. Take another piece of wire. And let's see if I can just, you might not be able to see at this angle because I have to lean it over the table because this branch is so long. But I'll show you guys here in a second. Okay, so at this point, I have this wire <clears throat> around this branch, the one that I want to grow even further down, and I have it hooked onto the wire that's going around the pot. And what that does is it pulls this entire trunk line down. This pad of four branches is now pretty even straight across there. I thought about wiring these down a little bit, but at this point, I think I'm going to prune them that way I get back budding in here and then I will see what I get with that back budding and think about wiring it either in the spring or maybe even just wait till next year um, I'm not gonna trim the, this branch at all I don't believe right now because like I said I want it to continue to grow longer and probably next year after it grows another six maybe eight inches hopefully I will create another pad down here and I'll probably reposition by wiring it at that time into growing another pad maybe over here at this angle because I have this branch coming toward, this is gonna be the front of my tree. This is gonna be the front of my tree and I have this branch coming towards the viewer. So I think eventually this branch when it has the pads will be going this direction away from the viewer is what I think at this time I'm going to be uh, doing so I'm not going to do any more wiring 
think I'm just going to prune And if you water these jade trees and fertilize them well during the growing season, they will put on quite a bit of growth in just one year. And another thing, if you make a YouTube video, instead of concentrating on what you're doing, you might actually trim off the branches of the tree that you wanted to grow along. But that's okay. I think it will back bud and I will still be able to work those, that branch down into a longer pad down here. I was just concentrating on making a YouTube video instead of concentrating on being a bonsai artist. But that's okay. I'll deal with that in another six months to a year. Um, plants are forgiving. They will continue to grow as long as you don't kill them. And that's definitely not going to kill this plant. So that's what I have today. I am going to give it a good drink of water. Um, it's December. Uh, and so now that I'm done pruning and rewiring this plant, I don't need to dry it out anymore, so I'll give it a good drink so it can start to thicken up and in the spring put out new branches and it might start doing that during the winter time also. So um, I hope you uh, enjoyed. This will be the front of the tree again and until the next video.